uh, Martin talked a little bit about some of the combine adjustments. One of the other things is uh, calibrating your yield monitor. Uh, I'd be happy to come help you do that if you would like some help or assistance. I can bring a weigh wagon with me and, and uh, we can do, do the different uh, adjustments to it. Um, there's about four different things that you need to uh, calibrate uh, on, the, on the yield monitor. It depends on the, the model and the version that you have, exactly the process that, you, that we'll do. But um, we've we got to calibrate the temperature, the mass flow vibration, which is you just turn the engine on, or turn the, the combine on, let it run um, setting still without actually running a crop through there. And you've got to make sure that sensor isn't reading. Um, if it's reading, then you're going to get, at, when you're sitting still, it's going to sense that you're actually harvesting when you're not. So... And then uh, we've got to calibrate the moisture sensor. And then the thing that everybody tends to do when they say they calibrate their combine is the mass flow sensor um, for yield. So that's, that's one of the four com, uh, or components of, of calibrating yield monitor. The other thing you've got to make sure you do is that the distance is calibrated properly. So if your, your travel isn't in sync with the actual distance you're moving, your bushel yield per acre is going to be off. And if you use your yield maps to make decisions on your farm, uh, you want to have those maps and be as accurate as, as you possibly can. Um, we'll have to follow the owner's manual for the very specific methods. John Deere has their recommendations. Case IH has theirs. Ag Leader has theirs. Um, so, uh, And then the other thing that's important also uh, is for your temperature as well as your yield. Uh, you got to make sure that whatever you're using to calibrate is accurate because if your scales, like on your grain cart, if, if those are off 10%, you're going to transfer that error right to your combine and that'll be off 10%. So we got to make sure that those are accurate as well. Uh, generally, you want to calibrate eat for each crop each year um, and you want to treat high and low moisture corn as separate crops. So you'll want to calibrate at a high moisture and calibrate at a low moisture uh, as well. But if anybody wants some help calibrating, um, for wheat in particular, um, let me know. I'd be more than happy to come out and, uh, and do that, and I'll bring the weigh wagon with me to, to do those measurements.